Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and I'm so glad you're here today. It has been a hot second since I have shared with you all a homeschool update. The last one I think was in the beginning of October. So here we are, the beginning of January 2021, and I'm going to update you on how term two went and term three, and what our plans are for term four. In term two, I talked about our plans for a new science curriculum that I had purchased from Masterbooks on astronomy. Frankly, we haven't started it. <laughs> the months of October and November and even December did not go as planned. Then again, neither did August and September. That's kind of been the theme for this school year. Um, the year of the unplanned. As you may know, if you've been around here long, our seventh child, Giovanna, was born in the middle of August and I had some massive health complications after her birth, which really put a damper on things as far as what I could accomplish. Unfortunately, that didn't really change once we got into term two when I was about six weeks po po postpartum and beyond. I started dealing with different health issues, but health issues nonetheless, and we just kind of went into survival mode. In fact, um, if you're a regular viewer, you may realize we haven't really done a video since Thanksgiving. It's just been a little rough around here, and our homeschool journey has reflected that. We did plenty of astronomy and lifestyle. Every time there's a meteor shower or any kind of event, we are out there checking out the stars and the planets and talking about what's happening. And then there's just the lifestyle of learning that we have in that we have been doing so much that could be considered science. We just haven't been doing a formal science curriculum these past two terms because we've been doing the three R's basically. My kids have been amazing in being self-motivated. I am so grateful for the way that I have been disciplined to spend the time planning out our terms and doing the lesson planning for each term ahead of time because that really, really saved me. Being able to spend one day doing lesson plan for the entire term, every term, <laughs> so that I can start from right where we are at that moment in each subject and plan for the next several weeks. The kids have been phenomenal at just picking up their binders and doing the work that's been laid out for the day. And they come to me for help, for questions and corrections. And that's been exactly what our family has needed the last two terms. Now, term two was eight weeks. It was our longest term of the year. And term three was three weeks. It was our shortest term of the year. Term two was the end of September until the week of Thanksgiving. And then term three was the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So those combined 11 weeks were term two and term three for us. Another thing that frankly we just didn't get done during those two terms was Bible. I talked a lot about how incredibly inspired I was by Amy over at Raising Arrows to implement that morning time, that Bible time early in the day to bring us all together to start the school day. And it just didn't happen. My health issues were the overwhelming factor. Uh, Giovanna also has had some struggles, mostly my diet causing her some problems, but we figured that all out now and I'm really excited to get started on term four. I do think though that I am going to give them the reading assignments for individual reading for the Bible and work my way into doing Bible with them on a daily basis, little bites at a time because the last two terms proved I can't just jump in and add an entire full subject for the entire family right now. You know, I have a four month old and other things. Another change that we're going to be making for term four is we are changing history. If you have been around here in the past, you know that we've been working on story of the world. Here's something I didn't mention. We've been on the first year of that for three years. And what I'm gonna show you right now is why. I really do love story of the world as a curriculum, as a chronological, way of learning history from 
basically the beginning of time until now, but I kind of go get off track really easily. We love working through that, but we also just come upon things or subjects just as we're living life that I want to turn into learning for the kids. So I do. And sometimes that lasts for a day. Sometimes it lasts for a couple of months of our school year. And this is the next one, the Constitution. There's just so much going on right now in our society that is just screaming. We need to understand the Constitution. My friend Rachel over at Real Housewife Rachel posted on her Instagram about this book as well as the other one I got to go with it, Our President's Rock. Our Constitution rocks and did fantastic flip throughs so that I could see what was really inside them what they were about before purchasing them and I so appreciate that how this book works is basically it goes through one tiny segment of the Constitution one bit at a time explains the historical context in a way kids can understand and explains what that actually means for them in their lives today it starts with talking about the Articles of Confederation and how that led up to the writing of the Constitution it goes through the debates and the issues that were debated leading up to in the process of creating the Constitution and then it gets into the actual Constitution itself starting with the preamble of the bottom line meaning very, very pointedly what that means. What were they thinking? What was the context? What was the point of it? What were the founding fathers trying to do with that part? Why should I care? How it impacts you in your daily life? And then breaking it down. Just talking about the specifics of this. How can I make a difference? Pretty self-explanatory. What has it done for me lately? And it goes through every single portion. It talks about the debate and what there was debating the writing of that part. And then it goes into the articles. Article one, section one. And it does an amazing job of really thoroughly going through all of those aspects in every single article. I kind of feel like all of our current modern politicians could probably benefit from reading this book, but that's just my opinion. And because there's gonna be a lot of talk about different politicians, different political figures and presidents and things, I also got this to go along with it to be able to discuss each of these people. And this is the same writer and the same kind of format, breaking down information about each individual president. We are going to be getting back into science we really do love astronomy. We've just kind of been freestyling it while I've gotten my head on straight. And there's hope, there's hope. It's well fixed now and we're continuing forward. We are going to do the reading, writing and arithmetic and we're going to continue building on that. I'm also changing it up a little bit for my oldest because we've had this two week break here. I don't, I'm not really that concerned about interrupting her algebra course at this point because she's already been off for two weeks. So this term I am going to have her work through the personal finance course from the Financial Peace University through Dave Ramsey. She's very excited to do it. I'm very excited to see what she learns. My husband took one of our old laptops that was not great with factory specs and completely rebuilt it over Christmas break so that we can have a laptop out kind of in the, in the dining room, kind of in the middle of where we do all the things and the kids can use that for their different subjects instead of having to go back and forth between my bedroom or the office and being far away if they need to ask for help. So that is gonna be really neat to be able to peek over her shoulder and see what she's learning and working on that. And I believe that's it. I'm being realistic and I'm keeping it basic and these are my plans for term four. If you are a homeschooler, I would love to hear how it's going for you. Tell me if there are any new changes you're making to your school year now in this new year. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it if you think anyone might find it useful and subscribe to hang out for more. We'll see you again soon.